Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys, we're going to be taking another look at VeChain. We did obviously cover this one this morning and things were looking technically different. Um, and we're going to go through what's recently happened here with VeChain and what we might be expecting to happen next when it comes to VET. Um, as we get into it, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, then do subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here. Right, let's uh, talk about what's been going on most recently since we did the update this morning and uh, how things have technically changed uh, in the very short space of time. Okay, so we're going to be talking about how um, VeChain has actually dropped back by 36%, um, although it has had a bit of a bounce back to the upside. So when we take a look at the current position here on Coin Market Cap for VeChain, we can see that we're currently trading at 11.7 cent, 21.9% um, down on today. Okay, so a bit of a pullback. Now, we often talk about how 30% swings are relatively common in the space, but this does feel a little bit, you know, steeper than maybe we'd have expected in such a short space of time. I know this is not unusual. We have seen it previously. And again, it wasn't actually something that we were technically predicting. We often keep quite a tight eye on things like glass node to see what's been going on with Bitcoin, what are the inflows, the outflows, etc. And nothing was standing out to me this morning. Same with the Avi.io dashboard, looking at Bitcoin. Again, there was no indications from the artificial intelligence and machine learning there that we were going to have a significant pullback on Bitcoin, thus affecting the entire market. That being said, clearly some Bitcoin from large whales was already on exchanges and had been there maybe for quite some time because the inflows were not indicating any potential moves on to exchanges for sell-offs. That being said, there are many other ways to liquidate. And um, so again, it could have been an interesting a coordinated attack to push the price of uh, Bitcoin to the downside. Now, is it a coincidence that this is happening on the same day that you see El Salvador and all those other kind of uh, players classing it as a cryptocurrency, uh, as a legal tender, right? So again, taking a look at what's going on around the world, thinking about a coordinated attack is not also off the table either. Um, so again, be open-minded. Um, again, this is a short-term thing. It does definitely feel manipulated and it's not very natural. And that's why a lot of structures have completely been wiped out. Um, so again, not that I'm being shaken out of the market. I'm not seeing it going down too much further. And there are definitely some buying opportunities involved. Uh, definitely some buy zones have been accomplished and that's why you've seen a significant bounce back to the upside. People have been buying up the fear and um, that has been up for sale today, if you could even call it fear, because again, when we take a look at the Avai dashboard, it does not indicate that there's actually a lot of fear in the case of uh, you know some of these cryptocurrencies. Um, so again, fee chain here, pulling back in line with the rest of the market really after Bitcoin had a bit of a pullback. Um, you know, I think it's 11% down. So again, pretty significant change for Bitcoin. And um, obviously has affected the uh, entire space where people have been kind of, you know, selling out of fear, thinking we're going into a bear market. We are in fact in a bull market. And um, this is something that you've seen quite a bit happen in the space, unfortunately. I know there was a bit of a coordinated uh, attack where everyone was supposed to buy $30 worth of Bitcoin, for example. We can obviously reference what happened with XRP where um, everyone was supposed to buy, you know, a little bit of XRP on the 1st of February. Uh, instead, uh, people who had accumulated previously had basically sold and um, pushing the price down okay so again uh, this is feels very much the same similar kind of scenario um, but let me know what your thoughts are uh, and reasoning as to why you think bitcoin had a pullback when uh, there didn't seem to be um, any technical reason for it um, according to inflows outflows on glass node etc so yeah let me know i'll be interested to know what your thoughts and opinions are on bitcoin's pullbacks um but let's get into the v chain here right because obviously 36 percent pullback for v chain is a very significant one right now obviously tracking at about 19 percent and pushing back up just above the support level of uh, 11.5 cents. So again, we're still holding that area quite well. But on this daily chart, we can, of course, see that the stochastic has pulled back uh, in line with our expectations. So again, this means that we'll be pushing back up again shortly. And again, we have to now work our way back up to some of the areas that we had already kind of taken out when it comes to VeChain here. Um, but I have made some notes. So let's get into what's going on with these notes on our uh, a daily chart. Okay, so uh, similar way that I did with uh, XRP, we're going to basically take a look at what's going on um, structurally and where things change. Because basically, um, pretty much from the beginning of September, we started to see a good surge. We found this upper bound here where we were testing a bit of resistance. We pulled back to our uh, support line of 14.1 uh, cent. We were testing this quite a bit. And um, we can see that we were testing it just down here before surging back up to another test of our resistance. And um, this is both a test on the support, uh, sorry, on the resistance trend line to the upside, but also the resistance horizontal line at 15.2 cent. 
pulling back from here again this was all within our, our realm of what we would normally see and then pushing up to our resistance line again testing this and trying to break through we actually pulled back before we had another significant pull and then we lost the support so again testing that higher bound um, and then pulling back down testing our support level down here of our upward trend this held nicely we bounced right back up to our resistance line at 15.2 and again we're testing this just up here as we were heading to the overbought area it looked like we were supposed to pass through back test on this and continue the growth that was our uh, morning update if you will everything was lining up quite nicely when I had done the video um, so we were looking to basically test down here and then push on up uh, and then come out now what happened here was we actually lost the support and we pushed down but we actually went straight past because of Bitcoin our 14.1 support line so the line that we were holding previously over here and basically we lost this completely there was a bit of a bounce down on this previous trend line to the upside which was interesting and um, bounce from this line pushed on up uh, here we got this bounce um, and again this is where we consolidated briefly and um, before coming back down now what we can do of course is use our Fibonacci retracement tool and um, put that on from our high point just up here down to our bouncing point over here and we can see that the bounce was very very shallow barely even anything and um, before we tumbled a little bit lower so again normally you see a good kind of bounce up to the uh, 618 for example and um, that's a pretty interesting area but now obviously what we've actually seen is a significant push or down so if I actually go and grab this Fibonacci and pull it all the way down to the bottom here and we can see that we have had bounce now up towards our 618 area and if I zoom on in here we can see that we had bounced up towards this but got rejected again and we are tumbling to the downside but again uh, we are holding an interesting kind of support level there are wicks down in this area below 11.3 but we're not closing those candles there and um, we take a look at the stochastic and there's still plenty of room to grow but right now I think the market is very very fearful and um, so the expectation should be that we'd anticipate another pullback um, and we should hopefully kind of find ourselves in this uh, quite comfortable zone down here there's lots of support areas in this area and um, so okay coming down into these lower bounds towards kind of like uh, 9.7 cent or even the the area of 9.8 cent this is going to be a pretty big accumulation period um, for many people in the space I don't think that we are likely to pull back much further but if we do then I think there's going to be an interesting zone just here let me just mark this up uh, and I will actually just make that a little bit transparent so we can see right I think uh, anything actually going down a little bit lower in towards our um, 9.2 cent um, support line down here this seems like a pretty sensible area right so again we could be looking at that thinking that that's an interesting point we could accumulate now I'll leave that there for now um, but it doesn't mean that we're actually going to see it but if you're looking to a v-chain looking to accumulate that might be an interesting point for us um otherwise you know from a structural point of view it's very disappointing to see that uh you know whatever a coordinated kind of sell-off event occurred with bitcoin and um, caused such mass uh, fear in the space that we've actually seen a tumbling market take out so many key areas uh, as we were making such good progress with vchain here so very very disappointing um but no, i think long term this is temporary uh, we are still in a, bear, a, a bull market we haven't gone bare all of a sudden and um, this is uh, basically just a coordinated attack on bitcoin after el salvador's uh, legal tender and everything that was going on there um, and again this comes in line with what we had seen previously with xrp as well there's nothing unusual about this kind of tactic and um, it has been done many many times over um, and there are significant winners in this space and unfortunately many retail investors uh, who act emotionally in the space would have unfortunately uh, you know, become victims to this um, ultimately though give it time because this is the hourly chart and um, the the main view really is to really pay attention to what goes on with our daily because um this is where we re review uh, our long-term positions here and the way our ways to protect profits on our journey um so again i think it's important that we acknowledge what they are and um, we will do a video for the members talking about where our um you know ways to protect profit margins um, and uh, unrealized gains uh, on that journey um you know to the downside where we actually get a decent bounce um, and we see whether or not we're going to take out those key technical areas ready for recovery or whether there is going to be more downside to come in the following days so watch out for that we'll get that covered for you guys um, and then uh, we'll basically review how you can best protect yourselves um, and uh, lock in as many of those gains as possible um before you know going back into an, another accumulation period um for v chain so i really wanted to kind of just do this quick video update um on everything that has happened um and where things structurally have changed um moving from where we were this morning to where we are this evening uh, and again i think um you know it is again short-lived i think we'll do some 
further analysis in the next few days, find out where our bouncing zones are. We obviously have bounced up already into a significant area. So tomorrow is going to be a nice key day to see um, which areas we actually move up towards um, and where the recovery takes us or whether or not we are going to be continuing to a downside for a little bit longer. Um, but again, you know, nothing... Um, ventured nothing gained and again it is important that we do zoom out and we pay attention to the bigger picture again a pullback like this is not unusual um i'm going to just call out a couple here within our third wave to the upside and um, there's a, a significant push just here in the middle i'll actually just grab my price range with this one um and again this actually shows us going down 35 percent and just here in the middle of our third wave to the upside right so again not unusual to have a pullback like this uh, and again this then starts a good motion continuing to the upside so if we're ever in doubt do zoom out and um, now we obviously can readjust our percentage gains and um, we'll pull this back down into the 700 percent range um, after a pullback so again profits can have been taken um by some people who were selling the fear as long as they weren't buying at the top uh, and selling their fear over here and um, thinking that we're going bad we are still in a bull market we are still going after that dollar range that that five uh, impulse waves to the upside that still stands and um, but nothing moves in straight lines there are waves within waves and this is not unusual we have seen this previously just over here in the middle of our wave three um, and again you can see it in numerous places even over here in wave one and um, you can see obviously during wave two it's natural kind of corrections and again in wave four and um, again this is not unusual we are moving to the upside long term and um, end of the end of the year kind of beginning of 2022 is where I, uh, I do see you know the bull run kind of finishing um, and that's where we have this fifth wave finally a reach before we actually do go into a bit of a bear market and we lose significant value over the next few years and um, but this is not now and um, there's a time and a place for that it, it just isn't in the middle of a fifth wave like this and um, so again we are looking forward to to seeing how that kind of plays out in the coming kind of uh, days weeks and uh, months but guys hopefully you have found this video useful and informative if you have hit the like button i really appreciate that subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here with this said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one